Hey, 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 we are live. I'm Apostle Dee Dee. It's Apostle K. How y'all doing? Amen. How y'all doing? Glory to God, I haven't done anything. Post been signing in. Oh, on the conference line, haven't done that. Praise the Lord. Y'all come on in. Amen. And invite somebody, invite a friend or two. Glory to God. Amen. Invite a friend or two. I'm not inviting nobody today or even tell them that we're on live. I'm going to, you know, it's like if they want it, they get it, right? Amen. I do want to see some faces. Hello. Hi, y'all. Glory to God. Amen. How's everybody? I hope I don't forget that. You know, we're going to have to check that recording because uh, it kept going. Mm. So we're going to have to do some editing. Good morning, everybody. I do want to shout out. Hi, Cindy. I see your name. Pastor, can you see that? Amen. Yes, uh, I can't. Nicole Owen, Prophet is. Hey, Prophet is Owens. Hi, baby. Uh, How you doing? I think it's tough. Prophetess Teresita. Hey, hey. how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Her name made me want to touch. Teresita. We're going to talk to him about Cita. that a little later. Teresita. And I know many have, uh, <laughs> many have probably, she probably went through that growing up too. Don't traumatize the children. <laughs> you don't assist. <laughs> Help him. Pray for him. Pray for him. Y'all know we need some prayer right about now. <laughs> she gonna get me. <laughs> Hi, Nadia. How you doing? She gonna get me. <laughs> yeah, she gonna get you. Amen. Amen. How y'all doing? My chair is uncomfortable. It's like I'm sitting sideways. Or... We... Uh, uh. Get them later, Terry. Don't get them now. Y'all share this video. Amen. Share the video. Invite some friends. For real. Because I'm not even getting ready to... Uh, I'm not going to invite nobody uh, this time around. I'm just... I'm not going to invite them. You know, we, I think by now they know we do this uh, every Wednesday. Hallelujah. She said you're terrible. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Come on in, people of God. Amen. We got a word from the throne. We got a word from the throne of grace. Hallelujah. And I am excited. Maybe if I hit this, I can see others coming in. Mm. Amen. Glory to God. We are excited. Invite your friends. Share the video. Come on, get it. I'm going to get like the rest of them. You think we're going to? Well, wait. We ain't going forward until they come in. Got to be more numbers. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be good. I don't know how to be good. So, how's the day? How is today? Hi, Diane. How you doing? God bless you. Now, don't y'all forget, if you can't, if you're having trouble on Facebook, because, you know, Facebook be locking folks down, you can always uh, dial in on the conference line, and you can hear us at the same time as we're being live. And I know it's, it's different than watching us live, because we just so... Uh, so visual, let me put it like that. <laughs> but uh, you can dial in 712 775 7031. Uh, 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 690. 690. Uh, uh, see, 607922. Stay out of my commercial. This is not a commercial break. <laughs> he on his own. You know, we have, he has a Saturday night prayer line, so he's getting it all. Oh confused. Yeah, we'll get the numbers all jacked up because it's a different number. Amen. Then uh, on the prayer line. So God bless you guys for coming in. Hey, Valerie, how you doing? God bless you. I know I'm not calling y'all by y'all titles. It's okay. Trust me. I know who y'all all are. God speaks to me real good about you. So y'all invite some folks in. Amen. We got rain here today. I'm talking about 
some good rain. I had a nerd to dream about uh, going to order my uh, my uh, kale wrap. <laughs> Woo, child. I was standing in front of the man ordering my kale wrap. She and I wake up and it's thundering. And then here come. I don't think you're going anywhere today, hun. I thank God for working from home. Hallelujah. With the man I love. Hi, darling. God bless you. Good afternoon. <laughs> Cindy says she said she you she see you still messed up from the weekend. <laughs> Yeah, that cow wrap is the bomb. Terry, next time you come, we're going to go down there and uh, get you one. You know, people, it may look crazy, but it's, man, we need some veggies in our, in our, in our, in our life. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Tracia, tra, uh, Tressa, Lord Jesus. Anyway, y'all. Invite some people in. Glory to God. I'm now my count. By the time we finish, um, mm -hmm. it'd be more than what we show. But I'm just saying, is everybody all right today? Um, should I do my commercial? <laughs> These are the bands, y'all. They we got them in. I got them in. And we got several colors. We don't have orange, so I'm going to dismiss the orange. These are the five colors that I got in. And on one side, it says, no dummy down. And on the other side, it says, uh, no more excuses. Amen. These bands are anointed by the Lord. I can't know nothing. But with my hands, as I'm praying over it, amen. But these sayings have been given to me over the years. And he's he always gives me a saying that usually travels all over the world. Amen. You got, you got some stuff in you that will travel all over the world. You may not get credit for it, but it will travel all over the world. So go on DeliveranceCrewMinistries.org and order your bands. Order your all. They come in in different colors. It's called Touch by Jesus where the bottles come in different colors and different sizes. Amen. This is a one-ounce bottle, yeah. This is a two-ounce bottle. This is the spray bottle. Hiya, basa. Ooh, I feel God, when I grab these bottles. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Both shot. I'm a, ooh, mm, mm. Okay, we're going to put them over there. But this is the roll-on. This is the roll-on bottle. Amen. So go on the site and order you a bottle. Uh, guys that have ordered so far, uh, I, some of them I just didn't send it on to yesterday. Can, I, can we tell on? <sighs> so, hey. Maritha, God bless you for being here. This is the first time I see you all here, honey. How you doing, cuz? Amen. Good God Almighty. Amen. So we, if there is a word from the Lord, and guess what? I need to, y'all don't mind. Y'all like these? You know I'm a girly girl. I, mm. So let me take these off. And let me put these on. Oh, I can see them. Okay, watch this. Watch this. The spirit of the Savior is upon us. Yeah, he still messed up, Cindy. Uh, come on and pray. Do you pray? God, we give you glory. Mm, 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 mm. We give you praise. We give you honor, God. Father God, we, we lift up. We lift your name up, God. Hallelujah, God. Father God, we thank you for this time today, God. Glory to God. To come before your people, oh God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, oh God. Father God, as your presence begins to As your presence begins to fill, God. It begins to permeate, saturate, oh God. Begins to engulf us in you, oh God. And Father, as you begin to take us and transport us, oh God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As we ascend into your throne, oh God. As we declare an open vessel, an open portal, oh God, between the heavens and the earth at this particular time, oh God, so that anything can happen. Signs, wonders, miracles, glory to God, teaching, Hallelujah. preaching, revelation, oh God. 
Ooh. Hallelujah, God. Let somebody be encouraged today. Let somebody yes, be delivered God. today. Let somebody be blessed. Let somebody be saved, oh God. Let something mm. that's said, oh God, out of, your, out of your mouth, oh God. Father God, let it be life and manner to the bones of the people, oh God. That, Father, they'll be able to say, I can live on and I can run on another day, oh God. Father, let understanding come forth, oh yes, God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, we're breaking through the taboo, oh Jesus. God, oh, with teaching, God. oh God. Yeah, teaching straight from the throne, oh God. God that a catapult God. The people, oh God, not from where from where they are into where you are, oh God. It'll catapult, it'll pull them, it'll suck them in. Glory to God. Straight to your throne, God. Yes. We we take dominion and authority, oh God, yes. over the witches and the warlocks, oh God. And we declare and decree, oh God, that this line is dedicated to you on today, oh God. We bind any stopping, we bind any 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 uh any anything going on with the internet, oh God. We bind it up today, God, casting Thank it to the dry Jesus. places. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we declare and decree a good broadcast today. Glory to God. There yes. shall be no hindrances, that there shall be no 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 covering up, oh God. Woo! There shall be nothing to, to hinder, oh God. What you're trying to do and what, what you need to do, Lord Jesus, oh God. We submit ourselves to you today. Glory to God. And each and every person that's going to come on and each and every person right now, we submit them, God, to your throne even now, God. And whatever they may be in need of, oh God. Father, you pour it out. You pour it out today, oh God. Let there be special for them, oh God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Greetings, Prophetess Gillette. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah, Spencer. Hi, uh, Prophetess Melisha. Hallelujah. Hey, Janora Lynn. God bless you. And Sandra, thank you guys for stopping in. Amen. Today is Wednesday and it's lunch in the word. You know, well, this is what we do every Wednesday until God says something different. Glory to God. But let me start off with the scripture that he, um, he gave me uh, this morning. Well, sometime during my dream state, the spirit of the Savior is upon us. For the Lord has anointed us to bring good news to the poor. He has sent us to comfort the brokenhearted and to proclaim that captives will be released and prisoners will be free. Hallelujah. He has sent us to tell those who mourn, come on, that the time of the Lord's favor has come. Come on. Hallelujah. And with it, the day of God's anger against their enemies. To all who mourn, hallelujah, he will give a crown of beauty for ashes and joyous blessing instead of your mourning. That's the praise instead of despair. Glory to God, hallelujah. In their righteousness, they will be like great oaks that the Lord has planted, hallelujah. They will build the ancient ruins and they will repair the cities that has been destroyed long ago. God said he's here to revive us today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <coughs> now the title, and that's coming out of the NLT version, but the title today is Under the Influence. Mm. Come on, somebody. My Lord, my Lord. The title today is Under the Influence. Somebody write that for us. Mm. The title today is Under the Influence. Hallelujah. What we're going to talk about today. Mm. Glory to God. Under the Influence. Mm. Somebody come on, write that. Hi, y'all both shot down. Uh, somebody need to catch that. He said, favor has come upon you today. Uh, you're under the influence. Uh, y'all both son, da, 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 bo, cool, yeah. See, uh, people need to really get the understanding that we are in 218. We're not no longer in 217. We're not no longer in 216, 15, 14, 13, 12, 10. All the way back to where you once were. We're not there anymore. As a matter of fact, as of today, as of today, well, when 218 came in, he released upon us that we were legacy worthy. Glory to God. I'm not talking about your father, them, your mama, them. No disrespect to that, to them. But what you are legacy worthy to is the fact that you are heir to, you know, like Christ Jesus. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. And we need to get a clear understanding of that. You're legacy worthy. Mm -hmm. Amen. You are a child of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And all you need to do is learn about sonship uh, and go ahead and start declaring and decreeing that you are a son of God. We've been given this opportunity long ago. And once you learn that you are an heir, then you can receive yourself. Come on. Mm -hmm. You can receive yourself first or who you truly are 
Amen. But who your father in heaven is. Oh, she. Okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, somebody going to talk to me today? Ah, yadadabasha. You're under the influence. That's the title today, y'all. Under the influence. So what God gave me. Now, I don't know if y'all was in church service with us or you reviewed Sunday service on a place of worship. But it started out on Saturday night. I started getting chills Saturday. And I got into bed about 8 o'clock p.m. And Apostle K and a lot of other people of the family deliverance crew, but people are invited. Anybody can come in. He, God gave him an assignment to do 12 o'clock midnight prayer. And so that's what's been going on. Hi, you're both son. And in the midst of that midnight prayer, so wait, let me go back. I went to bed, and normally I'd be all and, and with them, you know, and I'll pray. He'll just call out names to pray. Uh, sometimes he'll call certain people, give them an assignment to pray about. But uh, as I'm in the bed, I'm in there sweating. Glory to God. And, and, and I woke up. One of the times I remember waking up, it was 1.31 when I looked at the clock. And as I was going to the restroom, excuse me. As I was going to the bathroom, I heard Prophetess Teresita say, I have to say this. Mm. I have to say this. That's what I heard her say. And by the time I come back, I could hear her voice, but I couldn't hear what she said. Mm. And I crawled, cried, climbed back up into the bed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And and an apostle. I don't know how long I was sleep even after that. So I don't know what went on in the prayer line. But I found out about 5 o'clock, 3 or 4, 5 o'clock. I don't know what time he woke me up. He said, babe, I don't want to, I, I, I can't hold this no more. He said, God did something to us on that prayer line. So what, what so he released the fire on that prayer line. And everybody was there, was shifted into another dimension. See, people don't understand about sacrificing. Come on, talk to me. You don't understand about sacrifice. Don't nobody want to wait up till 12 midnight for prayer. Don't nobody want to take a nap because they know that God has given them assignment to be on the prayer line at 12 midnight. Don't nobody want to sacrifice because I got to be at church at 11 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. But I will, blessed Jesus. Don't nobody want to sacrifice. Amen. Hallelujah. To come and get and be obedient to God. To go get what you need. I know. So it's just a few of them that was on the line. I don't even know how many. But anyways. When he started telling me. He said something happened to all of us. On that night. And I said praise God. Because I know I received my healing. Now watch this. The flu bug been trying to get me for over a month. But it won't. God ain't going to let it. Mm. So we get up, get ready for service at 11 o'clock. Listen, praise and worship went forth. And as praise, of, now, when I entered into the church, because we have a home church campus, amen. We love it. The tabernacle, a place of worship, and the people that are coming in, just a few of us right now, but we know that it's explosive just with the, listen, the presence of God is in the house. And then you can watch it live. But guess what? The presence of God carried over into our church service. And man, look, the preacher, the pastor couldn't preach because God had overtaken us. He had slain us. We had people laughing. He was speaking. Glory to God. And a lot of people don't understand that. But we were under the influence. And we all have been under the influence ever since. Glory to God. So <clears throat> that's where that title came from. Amen. That's where that title came from. Hallelujah. And we won't do nothing. Hallelujah. Without God. You know, this ain't no play play. And this is what church people been doing for a long time. And it's time out for that. So we were under the influence. And I hear you, Prophet uh, Melissa. Yes, sacrifice will shift you. Somebody need to catch that. 
That, that's a word, woman of God. You need to preach that. Sacrifice will shift you. And that's what, because I, I mean, I know y'all ain't heard the story before because I was like, honey, are you sure? You better go back to God because that thing was hard when we lost the church and to get up because we weren't getting in the bed until two, three, four o'clock in the morning and then had to turn around and get back up. Hayadavasa. So God, yeah, he filled the place. You know, and, and, and I just read to you, glory to God, uh, from Isaiah 61. He said, favor has come upon us today. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Under the influence. So I'm coming out of the book of Acts. Can I can I read this a little bit? I need to uh, probably switch over to King James. I, ho I hope y'all getting this. Just It's just a little bit. But ooh, I feel the power of God. Um, mm, mm, mm. Verse 3, it says, During the 40 days after he suffered and died, he appeared to the apostles from time to time. And he proved to them in many ways that he was actually alive and that he talked to them about the kingdom of God. Once, when he was eating with them, he commanded them. He said, do not leave Jerusalem until the Father sends you the gift he promised. And as I told you before, John baptized with water. <laughs> but in just a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when the, when the uh, apostles were with Jesus, they kept asking him, Lord, has the time come for you to free and restore our kingdom? Come on. Mm -hmm. And he replied, the father alone has the authority for that, to set those dates and those times. And I know you, you'll hear it all the time. People be like, oh, the Lord is coming. Yeah, he on his way back. He's on his way back. Amen. And that's why we're supposed to be preparing the way. And, and, and they are not to know, for you to know, amen? You will receive power. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. You will be under the influence. You will be under the influence. And then you can become his witness, telling people about me everywhere, he says, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Amen. And while they were watching him, glory to God, and that's when he went up. But let's go to the book of Acts 2. When the Holy Spirit does come upon them. Y'all know them days of the Pentecost days. Amen. When, Pente when Pentecost happened, when all of them were gathered in the room, glory to God, and they were waiting and praying, they all came on one accord. I know y'all heard about this, you know, this story. Hallelujah. But when are, is, are you going to come one, on the one accord, hallelujah, with the presence of God and be under the influence of God? That's what we want to talk about today. A lot of people don't understand. Hallelujah. A lot of people don't understand when the presence of God is in the house. And then those that some that you have some that understand it but want to sh shut God off and follow the program. But when are you going to become under the influence? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, Jesus. When are you going to become under the influence where you can't even talk? When there may be Holy Ghost laughter, when you may be on the floor rolling around, but everything ain't the devil. When you're under the influence, oh, shut up, I say. Under the influence of the Holy Ghost, you will speak in tongues. Come on. You're liable to run around the church. Come on. You're liable to have messages that come out, of, that utter out of your mouth. When you're under the influence, oh, shit. 
When you're under the influence, you may be sent to lay hands on the sick and they will recover. If you're under the influence, you may be given a word of life to somebody and to take it to somebody. But most people walk in fear because you're thinking that won't nobody receive you. Amen. We're not the ones. When you're under the influence, hi, you don't shut down. When you're under the influence, it won't even matter about fear anymore. Fear won't have no room no more. And when you're under the influence, you will be able to come boldly, not just through the throne of grace, but set yourself boldly for in front of the people. Come on. Too many times, hallelujah, people, again, I say, that people have been under the influence, but they didn't know what it was. So here you got folks creeping in your ear telling you that ain't none of God, that's witchcraft. Have you ever been seeking God enough to find out what really was going on in your life? Now you have on much of the word, amen. Where, we, you know, this real talk, real people. Glory to God. We're going to talk about some stuff. We have talked about some stuff where people don't talk about in, inside the church building. We're not under, amen, an organization. We are an organism. That's the difference, y'all. The body is an organism. God already set it in order. But the true body is an organism. Come on, somebody. The organism, it lives, huh? <laughs> it breathes. It gets greater. There's always an addendum to it. There's always greatness happening. There's always an addition. Come on. But we know the enemy is a mimicker. So he had this here pretense body been going forth. And God is saying, even right now, it's time, and he has been saying it, it's time for his body to arise, to connect. Hmm. You know that threefold cord that won't be easily broken? Come on, talk to him. <laughs> Come on, talk to him. What's going on, family? How y'all doing? Uh, you know... It's so crazy when we look at, because when, when you deal with the Holy Spirit and when we deal with being under the influence, we can, we can literally, if you were to stop and think for a second, you can literally see why a lot of these churches uh, of old and some of now have not reached their full capacity. You have pastors that will come in and stop the flow of the Spirit. You have, uh, and I'm just going to call it like it is, you have the Baptist church that don't even believe in the Holy Spirit to a certain degree. Uh, you have a lot of people who don't believe in the move of God. But let me tell you something. How can you receive life without the Spirit? How can you receive what God is trying to give you without the Spirit of God? How can you truly, how can you truly, the Bible declares and it makes it very, very, very clear. It says the letter killeth, but the Spirit bring life. So we have a lot of churches operating without the spirit of God and what they have, they have the goosebumps and the fleshly thing and they think that that's the spirit of God and that's enough. They, they, they give you enough to feel a tickle and then they move on with service mm. as if, as if that's, all that, that's all that's going on. We have to come out of that old mentality of living or that, that, that worldly mentality or that religious mindset and come into what is true. Now, what is true? He, uh, Isaiah said, "Look, I come to set. I, he come to see uh, that we're anoint, anointed for this, but he coming to set the captives free. Mm -hmm. How can you set the captives free without the one who has already been set free? You got to be set free first by 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 the by, by Christ, and then once you've been set free, now through the Holy Spirit, you can help set somebody else free. But we have a lot of people going into the enemy's camp without the Holy Spirit." Talking about they're going to set somebody free. And don't understand that all you're doing is putting yourself in bondage and that person further in bondage. So now we have to, now, so now, so now Christ understood that. So he said, look, I'm releasing the Holy Spirit so that, so that there can be a change. Now when the Holy Spirit comes upon you now, you can now see what the enemy is. 
You can now see what the enemy is doing. You can now see, you know, um, listen, we got to understand the purpose of the Holy Spirit and the purpose of this influence is to help us to operate in an anointing and in power that we never had before to be able to do things we wasn't able to do. But there's a lot of people, glory to God, who want control. So they won't operate under the influence in which they're supposed to operate on. You know, when you think about under the influence, you think you think you think about, you know, somebody who may be who may be driving and they may be driving impaired. Glory to God, because they may be drunk. But let me tell you something. Glory to God. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you are not impaired. Glory to God. You can see better than anybody else. You can walk better than anybody else. You can talk better than anybody else. Man, you have eyes and ears. All your senses get better. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is about increase, not about decrease. So this influence is good for you. Glory to God. And it's going to bring you somewhere that you've never been before. It's going to help you. Glory to God. Go places that you've never gone before. So when you see people for who they are, glory to God, and we tend to ignore, glory to God, what we see through the spirit, glory to God, because God is trying to save us from some folk. Hmm. Glory to God. So now, so as we deal with, the, with, with, with being under the influence and being under the leading and guiding of the Holy Spirit, glory to God, that power, because he gives us power to rout demons, glory to God. Too many people are trying to deal with people on the surface and won't deal with the issue, glory to God. The issue is that you may be demon infested and you need deliverance, glory to God, in order for that to be changed on the outside. But you won't, you won't uh, submit yourself to the Spirit of God so that they can be changed. And you're trying to figure out... Why is, it the, why is the same thing happening over? Why is it the same cycle? Why is it if mommy did it, daddy did it, I'm doing it, great grandma did it? Why, why, why I can't break the cycle? Because you will not allow the one who can see what's wrong to deal with you where you are. Come on, glory to God. It's so amazing when you talk about the book of Isaiah. Isaiah talked about the man to come, which was Jesus. Amen. And he, talk, he talked about that in the first person. Glory to God that Jesus had already spoken from the Old Testament all the way into the New Testament. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so under the influence, mm -hmm. when they, on Pentecostal Sunday, mm -hmm. it says all the believers were meeting together in one place. Again, this is the new translation, uh, living translation. Mm -hmm. Suddenly there was a sound from heaven like the roaring of a mighty windstorm. And it filled the house where, where they were sitting. Mm -hmm. There would look like flames. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tongues of fire appeared and mm -hmm. settled on each of them. Mm -hmm. And everyone presented was filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages. As the Holy Spirit gave them to the ability. Now watch this. Mm. Ooh, 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 ooh. When you look at the fact that a lot of people, they don't understand about the Holy Spirit or uh, uh, precisely being under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Come on. These, when they came down, they were so overpowered, overwhelmed, you may say, with the power of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. that they came out of the upper room. And, when, and they were speaking in tongue, mm -hmm. and I can imagine, because we had that on Sunday, mm -hmm. speaking in tongue, laughter, mm -hmm. we were drunk, couldn't stand up. I mean, mm -hmm. we had an encounter with the Holy Spirit resting on us. My God, he came and dwelled in the house, uh, in the tabernacle, and my God, my God, I can imagine, because we've been there, and that's not the first time. When, you know, we laughing and they came out of the place and the people were like, how can this be? And we had the same thing. What is this? What is this going on? Because if you have some people watching the viewing, they won't understand it. Everybody don't get it, y'all. Everybody won't get it. But we hear, he says, the favor has come upon you. Ooh, shay, no boo. Ooh, shut that up. That's favor when he has chosen you. Remember what he told when the angel came down and spoke to Mary, said, God has favored you. Oh, y'all going to catch this about five seconds. That's favor when you can receive the Holy Spirit. That's favor from God from on high. My God. 
The Holy Spirit is a gift. He promised it to us yes. if we want it. Yes. Amen. So yes. under the influence, this is the hour that the organism have got to be under the influence. Why? So that you can't miss nothing. Yes. So what you have been missing, the Holy Spirit, and when Jesus said you wait on him and you go through the book of Acts, he said he's going to be your comforter. He's going to be your teacher. On, yes. He's going to be the one to bring you to all yes. truth. Yes. When you're under the influence, Woo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Eyes have not seen Ears have not heard Nor has it entered into the hearts of man What God has in store for you mm -hmm. You will know by the spirit He said try the spirit by the spirit mm -hmm. So many people have been right. tricked and deceived I'm not talking about the assignments that you had to go through right. But I'm talking about so many people have been tricked and, and deceived Because you're thinking that the people talking to you Is the spirit of God And actually they're demonic spirit Okay somebody but how can you try the spirit if you don't have the spirit or don't acknowledge the spirit that's in you? You got to understand this is this is a spiritual this is this is a spiritual walk. This is not a natural walk and too many are trying to do things glory to God naturally when you should be doing it spiritually. And this is why 99% 99.999% of us fail because we're not doing things spiritually and we think that natural tactics will work against demons. We think natural, that, that's why they, folks, you, 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 you know, you, you think you can shoot all day or tell somebody off, glory to God, all day, glory to God, and think that I'm, me telling off that person is going to make them change. No, you're dealing with demons, glory to God, and if you if you don't take authority over the demons, glory to God, it's, whatever you're doing, whatever you're saying, it's not going to make sense. It's not, it's going to go in, out, in one ear and out the other because the person is not themselves to comprehend what you're saying in the first place, and all they're going do is laugh at you. We got to understand this is a spiritual battle. So we fight it with spiritual methods. Glory to God. So now when you, when you, when you look at it, this is why I said, this, this God gave me this. He said, without influence, you can't be effective. So we got a lot of people walking around that's ineffective ministers, ineffective wives, and ineffective husbands, ineffective leaders, glory to God, ineffective sons and daughters of God, and they're ineffective because they don't have the spirit of God, or they don't live under the influence of God, and then they're trying to figure out why the things of God is not working for them, but you're not under the influence, and you expect God to work. Listen, the Bible declares, don't do certain things without the help of the Lord. Don't do anything until this is released. It says it in the Ooh. word, but you want to go Ooh. out there without it thinking it's not necessary. Let me tell you something. There will, from this house, and I can speak for both, on this house, we, we will not have service without Christ. We will not have a day without Christ. We will not have a, a, a you, know, you know minute to minute without the Holy Spirit. There's nothing that we will do without the Spirit of God. I don't care what conference. I don't care what it is. There's nothing that we will do without the Spirit of God. Because let me tell you, He is the one that creates change. See, a lot of us have this thing that we are the one that's creating change. No, no. It's who you come with. It's who comes with you. Who you Listen, the, the Spirit of God in you you is what speaks through you and when the person hears it they receive life and receive change but the problem is you want to give them a piece of your mind instead of giving them the holy spirit and the problem is as long as you're giving them a piece of your mind you're giving them flesh and as long as you're giving them flesh they're going to stay flesh but the minute you start giving them the spirit of god is the minute change begins to happen glory to god hallelujah glory to god hallelujah and once change happens the holy spirit begins to work in them you're sowing a seed what kind of the seed are you sowing? Are you sowing the seed of flesh or are you sowing the seed of spirit? That's good. Wow. That's good. That's good. So why, you know, we have a Pentecostal Sunday. Pentecostal Sunday could be seven days a week. Amen. Now we're talking about try the spirit. I, I, to, you know, God speaks to himself in you. That's how you try the spirit. You know, when you get, can start communicating with somebody, mm -hmm. amen, and all of a sudden you feel the Holy Ghost. That's because the Spirit is trying to speak. You can feel that your, the same Spirit residing in me resides in him because mm -hmm. you can feel it. And it tells you, yeah, that's me. It tells you. You know, and then people will talk, you know, and, 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 and Prophet Mallory, you said this, uh, something similar to this. You know, 
the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. I remember I said the Holy Ghost and the lady said, don't be calling the Holy Spirit the Holy Ghost, baby. It's in there. It's the same thing. It's the same thing, you know. And so people were, because I would correct her, like, no, it's the same thing. If you read the word of God, you will see him talking about the Holy Ghost. You will see him calling the Holy Spirit. It's the same thing. And so people try to correct me and say that, no, but, you know, you got to read the word of God, y'all. I don't care if you're listening to it. You need to get into the word of God and stop listening to all this foolishness. You know, it's nothing wrong with the motivational speakers or none of that. No, you know, it's nothing wrong with, um, wait a minute. Hold on. Yes, there is. There's yeah, some, wait a minute. There's, 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 <laughs> uh, the Holy Ghost just corrected me on that. I'm sorry. I was saying. <laughs> I'm sorry, there is some, there's something wrong, wrong with that because they're not giving, they're, all they do is motivating you. They're not giving you the whole thing. Listen, it, the, the problem is we got a lot of people that's giving you half of it and they won't give you the whole thing. And because they won't give you the whole truth, you think everything is hunky dory and it's like you going to hell for real. If you don't get it together, I'm not, we're not here to just motivate you, but if we can't check your spirit and get you to live right, we're not doing our job. That's right. And let me tell you something. I, I, I know from, I know from my wife, cause she said it several times. We're not getting up to heaven and going, well, Lord, you know, I, I, I was motivational. I, I motivated them. And God is like, did I ask you to motivate the people? <laughs> did I send you to motivate Woo! the people? Is that what I sent you there for? God. He said, he said, I sent you to tell the unadulterated truth. The unadulterated, un unadulterated truth may put you sometimes in a place where you be like, well, what am I supposed to do now? Because you got to check yourself. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit will check you. Hello. That, that's from being under the influence, y'all. You can't see. You got so many people that are talking that sound good, but it's not the Holy Spirit speaking through them. And that's where the motivation comes from. Amen. Now, you got the five-fold ministry offices. Amen. And they call to encourage and uplift. But, you know, can I, can I just tell you what a lot, of them, a lot of them have done? They don't. We ain't got no friends. But a lot of people have become motivational speakers so they can charge you for their time. But they don't understand that if you're walking, and in, in, in your chosen called by God, the Bible says that a minister is due is higher. That you should be blessing, blessing them. Apostle Paul talked about that when he went from one church to the other. He said, this church taking care of me to come and see you and you ain't giving me nothing. Okay, somebody go catch that. We, you know, this is the thing when we come talk about money. So that we went there, let's, let's go on and push that on out the way. Because that's in the word of God. Amen. But when you got people crossing, crossing the, a Bible with something, you know, they take bits and pieces out of it and they've been doing this. And that's why the church was in disarray. That's how was able, the enemy was able to slide on in. Come on. Can mm -hmm. I, let me, can I share the dream I had uh, mm -hmm. the other night? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, oh God, y'all, this is so, this is, God was talking to me. He, I, I was walking, me and another person. Well, first it started out, some people were in the house, came over to visit us. And it was three girls and a boy and a mother, amen. And so when I came in from another area of the house, the house was jacked up. And he had socks and underclothes and pants and stuff in corners. And I'm not like that, right? Uh-uh. Now you go into the bedroom with that. And you're not having all that stuff all over my house. And I told the lady, why is this? Y'all have to clean up. And uh, she said, yeah. She And then one of the girls, the teenagers, she got up and she was angry. I said, what's wrong with her? She says, uh, she's hungry. I said, well, why won't you feed her? Why don't you feed her? It's food in there. It's like they had clothes thrown around everywhere and they were playing and doing this and that. I said, but why won't you feed your children? So she, I said, and I'm walking through the house and I see bags of candy. This is what the kids were eating, bags of candy. So I was like, you can't get full off of this. This is only a temporary fix. It'll take away a hunger pain or two, but this is this what you've been feeding your family? I said, this won't work, right? And so the scene went to, I was me and another person was in the parking lot. So the girl was so angry. She says, I know what I'm going to do. I, the young girl, she said, I'm going to wear hair 
down to my butt. I'm going to give y'all the dream just like it, God gave it to me. I'm going to wear this hair down to my butt, past my butt, and I'm going to do what I want to do, right? She's a small, petite girl. I'm going to do what I got to do, whatever I got to do. And I was like, oh my goodness, oh my God. So I went on about my business. So the scene changed where we were in a church parking lot. And me and somebody else, whoever was riding with me, working with me, we get out and here we, but we see the young girl and she's out on the parking lot on the phone and she's switching and she's moving and she turned and her hair was all the way past her butt. And I'm like, wow, she really did do that. She put the hair down past her butt. But I'm like, okay, and, and so everybody else had went inside the church, and this was a gravel parking lot. When we go in, she goes in, and she runs, in, and she says, here she comes. And when she said, here she comes, all the people that was in the church started running out past me. And as they're running out past me, they had all these street clothes on. You know, sweat jackets, sweatpants, pants sagging down their butt. All the girls had the super long hair or, or they were just looking. They were street people. So, okay, I deal with street folks. I love them. But the thing about it is, when I, as I come past, it was a young man come running past me. He had a sweat hoodie, a black hoodie. And um, uh, my partner that was working with me grabbed the boy. And he had just came out from the pulpit. Right, and I'm walking up to the pulpit because there's the pastor, and the pastor see me coming, and he starts going into the pulpit, like he was hiding, like this had a hidden spot in the pulpit, but it didn't. He had, oh God, y'all, I hope y'all getting this. As he goes seeking into the pulpit, I take my sword and I stab him in the head on the top of his head, and I look down at the end of the church, and my partner had the young man, and he pulled the hoodie off of the boy. And the boy was a demon. Oh, God. I was able, with my sword, because I had to continue doing my work, pull the pastor out back, out from hiding inside the pulpit. And as I pulled him out, he turned into a demon. She mm. got that by shot. And he began to fight me, and we began to fight. And as I pulled, because remember, I don't know if y'all remember, God had gave me a thing about killing these snakes. We can't just cut off the head no more because the venom is still alive in the head. We got to take it, slice it from the head all the way down to gut it out. And so I knew that, and I started doing like this to gut this thing out. When I gutted the pastor out, nothing but snakes were coming up out of him. Oh, shut out that box. Ooh. And as I was gutting and the snakes were coming up out of him, I told him all this time, you have not been feeding God's people. There has not been any change. As a matter of fact, what they came into the church with was growing and growing and getting on others, my God, and, and taking over people until it became a demonic sanctuary. So that the snakes and stuff started running out the side door. And it was like we were on a boardwalk. Amen. And so, the, you know, boardwalk is made of wood. So they had a way to try to disappear. The snakes were slithering. But my partner was getting the smaller snakes. But I was on the pastor. Mm. And as I grabbed hold of the pastor and God told me to look, the pastor had two heads. One at the top and one at the tail. In. Jesus help. So me, I carry two swords. <laughs> I pulled out the other sword and I stabbed this head, the smaller head, to keep him still. And I still had my other sword with the top head. And he was talking, you can't do nothing to me. I already done done what I had to do. Are y'all getting this? Because it's real. I said to him, I said, but what you've done has been reversed. And we're going to pluck up and destroy everything that you have done, devil. And again, because he had sealed himself. He healed himself, y'all. And he got away. 
I said, but this time. Woo, ha. This time, you won't get away. And I was able to take oil. I don't know where I got the anointing oil from. And I was able to pull the sword up enough to pour the oil. And the oil starts saturating inside of this demon. Going inside. Hallelujah. And it started destroying the demon inside out. This is the church. And God is going to send some of y'all back inside the church to destroy the enemy's influence in the name of Jesus. We already know that he did, they have infiltrated the body of Christ. Woo! But God sent me on here today that you're under the influence now. And you got to go back. Wherever he sent you, you got to go to it. And destroy the works that the enemy started. Oh, God. Listen. I don't know how many snakes came up out of him. But the pastor, the shepherd of the house. Had went into the into the pulpit, y'all. Y'all catch this? It was sliding, becoming a part. Hmm? Of the pulpit, it was like he could go inside in the in, in it. Are y'all getting me? In it and just disappear. Now I sat back. And I waited for interpretation. And that's what interpretation that I got. The enemy has infiltrated the church. And we know this for a long time. For a long time. This has been going on for too long. And this is the year. That those of us that are under the influence. Are going back to take the church back. And bring it back to an apostolic order. The order of Jesus Christ, that it was built with Jesus Christ and the apostles and the prophet. And Jesus Christ as the chief cornerstone. I know don't nobody want to hear this. But enough is enough. They have made this thing. And I'm telling you, it was lights and they were slinging. They were, oh, hey, shut up. And they knew where they could go and do this at. Come on. Okay, I'm going to break this down a little bit as much as I can from what the Lord has been giving me. Um, I was li listening to the dream again. I'm hearing particular parts. Now, if we go back to the beginning of, of, of the begin beginning of, of the dream, you, we begin to understand that in the house, the house would be translated to a church, but, it, 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 you know, her house, her house, her ministry, her church, whatever, there were people within the ministry, glory to God, and what they were doing, oh, there were people within the body of Christ, glory to God, and what they're doing is they're not feeding the people food. She wasn't feeding the daughter food. She was feeding them candy. What Child. candy is? Watered down word, sweetened word, mm -hmm. uh, watered down word, glory to God, hallelujah. They're not feeding people with the good, with the true, with mm -hmm. meat, amen, glory to God, hallelujah. They're feeding them, and, and glory to God, hallelujah, if I remember that correctly, glory to God, the, that daughter was particularly feeding the younger ones, but the mother was not feeding the daughter the right food. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And what the daughter was turning around was feeding the other ones with was candy. So 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 if the head is not feeding the, the leaders right, the leaders is not gonna feed the people right. That's the breakdown of that one. Glory to God. And then when she mm. declared what she was going to do in her body movements, that's the spirit of seduction. Amen. Glory to God. So be, be, beware of the seducing spirits that try to get you to come to their church using seducing things. <coughs> Excuse me. Like you, the light section camera. You, you know, you you and using star. You use, using seducive stuff. Glory to God, and and then glory to God, and be careful of the transes that it will. Okay, before I even get to that one, yeah. so be careful of the seductions and stuff that they will put you in Jesus. to get you to come to the church and come to the service. So now you're not coming because God sent you. You're coming because you're hoodwinked. You're seduced and you're gone. 
Right. You, you know what I mean? And when someone is seduced, amen, glory to God. When, when, you, when, you, when you see someone is seduced, they, they, they're like, man, you jacked up. You, you, you know, who done bewitched you? Amen. Glory to God. So now, so now you go into the, she goes into the church and, you know, the spirits of, of seduction tells you what, what tells them what was going on. And everybody's running out and they're covered. Now, the person has this, this hood on, glory to God. Now, she mentioned the pastor going into the pulpit as if the pulpit itself is a portal. I don't know how many people believe in that stuff. Glory to God or anything like that. You know, if we have an open, if we have open windows and doors to heaven, you best believe they have open windows and doors to hell. Amen. Glory to God. And that's why the Bible calls it the gates of hell. Amen. Glory to God. So if there are gates to hell, amen. And we have open portals. Is that too much? Mm -mm, no, come on. It, mm -mm. It, 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 you know, if, if, there, if there's gates to hell, there's windows to heaven and doors to heaven. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So if, if, if that's because we have that, that, that pulpit was acting as a, a, uh, a portal to wherever it will go and come. But if you notice when she cut it open, glory to God, hallelujah, that there was other snakes within the snake. So this is why you have to be careful who lays hands on you. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful who speaks Ooh. over you and what they're speaking over you. Be careful what they touch. So now, now you're hoodwinked because of the spirit of seduction. But then you go into and the pastor starts preaching. No, they start laying hands or whatever the case may be. And then they do that and you can feel mm -hmm. the transfer. You can almost feel the transfer. Glory to God. Now that's different between between. There's a difference between feeling the transfer, something coming over you, mm -hmm. and feeling your baby leave. There's a difference. Under the influence. What influence are you under? Okay. Okay. Now, now, now there's, there's, there's the leaping, that, like Mary and Elizabeth, when your baby leave together, glory to God, because, because y'all came together. But then there's a difference when you feel something coming upon you. Jesus. That, that's two different things. Glory Jesus. to God. So, when, so, 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 so he had an abundance of snakes. So that basically, basically, so, and, and, and snakes were, were, when, when they would go in, but they will understand who is who, who's the leader or whatever. So then that snake goes in and it begins to take root. Glory to God. And as that snake begins to multiply, whatever, it takes more and multiplies in you. So now when you go out, what you get is what you give out. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So that so the question is, what are you giving out? Glory to God. I know what your leader, if your leaders are, were, if, if you were raised up under leaders that was necessarily great and were doing certain things and you come up, up from those, those leadership, and now you're teaching, you have to understand, glory to God, you're teaching the same bad things that they thought they taught you. Glory to God. You have to be changed. You have to be delivered. You have to come out of what you've been in and allow yourself to be changed and be taught again by the Holy Spirit so that you can come forth with truth. So, so, so what happens now, glory to God. So now when, 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 when that snake gets in you and, and stuff like that, so now, now you're in a trance or now you're under their control. My Jesus. So now it now it's easy to manipulate you. Now it's easy to get into the, the deliverance a little bit. Now it's easy for the the spirit of the octopus to get upon you because now they can control your mind. They can control your body. They can control everything. They can they control stuff about you. Glory to God. And that's why you need deliverance. But you can't you you won't see that or recognize that if you don't have the Holy Spirit. You first, you must first be under the influence. Glory to God. Or submit yourself to God first and let Him fill you, restore you, and clean you out. Glory. To to God, and then when you go places, you're able to see what He's trying to show you. And as He sees, and as He sees and shows you these things, you're able to do uh, counteract with what He's saying. So those, so so that's that's. Um, now watch this. Let me let me tell another part. She seen me coming, and she ran in and told them she's coming. So they know who you are. Mm. We're just not under the influence enough to know who they are. Why? Because they all blended in together. Remember the clothing that they had on. They all had on street clothing. They had the thug clothes. They had this. They had that. They had on all the worldly clothes. So they looked like the world. Come on, y'all. But they know who you are. Woo! I feel like running on that. You, because God said, express this. They know who you are. <laughs> you just huh? know who you are. Yeah. Come on. Come on. But you got to understand, they know you coming too. Mm -hmm. So therefore, there's some things that you need to do before you get there. Now watch this. I went to, when I went to the house in the beginning of the dream, I told them to clean up. In other words, it had to get right before I could go anywhere. Oh. 
you know, even even in that, you know, my wife and I were talking last night about some so some things. This is why you have to know yourself. You got you got, you, you got to submit yourself to God, and you got to know you. Amen. Glory to God. Because again, the enemy knows you better than you know yourself, and that yes, shouldn't Jesus. be. That should not be. You're supposed to know who you are in God. The Bible is clear on his promises concerning you. The Bible is clear on his word as to who you are and what you are. But then you walk into these churches blindly. Oh, my God. Without your help. It, the, the word talks about the word is a, is a light and a lamp unto my feet. Yes. Glory to God. So it's supposed to illuminate when I go places. It's supposed to illuminate those what's in front of me. Glory to God. But we're not walking with that light. We're not walking with that lamp. And we expect to see things. No. You have to allow yourself to be t touched by God. And, you know, let me stick a pen and come over here a little bit. Uh, glory to God. For those of, those of you that are seers, mm. the burden that you have as seers being able to see what other people can't see and being able to hear what other people can't hear. <laughs> and what happens is you tell the people what you're hearing, <laughs> glory to God, and they're looking at you like you're crazy because they don't understand and they don't see. So to those of you who are seers, keep doing what you're doing, glory to God. They, God knows why he gave it to you, glory to God, hallelujah. But in the meantime, don't lose heart, don't get discouraged, glory to God. It don't feel good, mm -hmm. glory to God. It don't sound good, glory to God. But you, you still have to be who you are in Jesus' name, glory to God. Seers are sometimes, in, in many ways, seers are the first line of defense against the enemy. And let me tell you, the enemy don't want seers to see. Because if you can see what they're doing... <laughs> God help me. If, Come on, Heather. <laughs> if, 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 if you can see it, you're able to destroy it. Amen. Glory to God. And you can Hallelujah. tell on it. And, amen. And you're able and, and 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 release it into. That's why the Bible talks about a watchman being on the wall. You're able to prevent somebody from losing their life if you're able to see the enemy. Well, the, see, that's the thing about those that were watchmen. If they didn't see it, they heard it. Okay, and then when they heard it, the Bible says, say it, or scream it, or say it over the mountaintop, glory to God. If Because if you don't warn the people and the people die, you, it, the blood is on your hands. The Bible is clear about that, glory to God. So you have to understand, so to those of you that are seers, uh, man, God bless you. It, 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 it is to some it's a blessing to some it's 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 you know it go it can go either way depending on who you are glory to god but if you use it for the glory of god it may not feel good but it's necessary so keep on being who you are for those of you that, that are seers and be encouraged and know that the enemy wants to destroy you he'll he, he will go after the seer because the others can't see they can't they they can't see they can't hear they mm -hmm. just they like kids they just la 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 you yeah. know but but the seers are the ones who goes mm -mm, no get get back here and the kids screaming because they want to go and the, the, no no you can't amen glory to God so seers be encouraged in Jesus name amen and and let's express this because when you're under the influence we're talking about under the influence of the Holy Spirit you that are seers, you need to be taught by the Holy Spirit. Can't no man or no woman teach you this. Amen. And so that's why us seers have went through so much. Come on. If seer, and back in the Old Testament, let's explain this, all the prophets were able to see until they crossed over. You know you're going to the psychic now or, or stopping by the medium. Amen. They were gifted by God at one point, but they sold their gifts. Come on. They so they turned over and crossed the line with their gifts. Amen. So yes, you can, you can be a, a, these here folks that's all on these TV shows. Sure. They were chosen by God at one point in time. That's why they be trying to throw God in it every now and then. Amen. Because they already in crossed over. It's a thin line. When you're under the influence, you got to stay under the influence of the Holy Spirit. I'm not talking about Satan. Because let me tell you something. Money is the root. The love of money is it, it, the root of all evil. Amen. God already knows about that. But as a seer for the body of Christ, as my husband said, be encouraged because there's some things, my God, that we have seen. Glory to God. And a lot of us, are, we speak of it. Me, because I'm told that uh, I'm raised, I've been raised up to tell the underdogs the truth. So therefore, I speak what I see. I, I you know, I, some things you just can't sugarcoat it. As people, it's the way you say it. I got to say it the way God give it to me or is showing it to me. Come on, stop allowing me. Let me encourage you because it's a devil. 
The devil is out here using folks to shut us up. You know, I, I want to touch on this a little bit, if I can. This, this is, I'm, I'm sticking another pin, if I can. We talk about love, and it, but love has no sound. But when we look at Christ, we, if, if Christ mm. is our example Ooh. of love, okay, Christ loved Peter enough to rebuke him and rebuke the devil that got attached to him so that he can be who he needs to be. We think today that if we love somebody, we're not going to tell them about the demon. We're just going to love the demon out of them. You can't love no demon out of nobody, okay? <laughs> Christ was big and bad enough, amen, and he still, and we call, say Christ is love. We know Christ is love because of what he did and everything that he say is. So we cannot dispute love based on what Christ, because, because Christ is the one that we're looking, that we're following. He's the legacy we're following, and because of his legacy, we are who we are. So if Christ was man enough, if Christ, even though Christ loved the people, he still called the Pharisees a brood of vipers, and that was terrible back in the days. Amen. Glory to God. He looked at Peter and rebuked him. That was, again, that's something that, that's harsh. People say, well, why are you rebuking folk? You got to rebuke the folk. If you love them, you got to rebuke them. Glory to God. So you cannot say that you're under the influence and you're loving folk, and you're talking about flowers and roses, when Jesus was not all about flowers and roses. Jesus was a well-balanced human. Well-balanced human. He spoke love. He, he's, he, he's a God of war. He's a God of love. He's a God of peace. He's a God of joy. I, I, he, he's, he's, he's a God of anger. He, 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 <laughs> he, I mean, the same God that will love you and give you life is the same God that will take your life in a RV if you don't do what you're supposed to do. The same God. But, he'll, the, but the difference between God and us is that he'll warn us. Don't do this. Don't keep doing that. Don't keep. God talks to us. He warns us. And the problem is, no, nobody want to hear what God. Okay. No, nobody want to hear what God is saying. Amen. Glory to God. So, so you got bringing, people. You got people teaching about grace. Oh, you're going to be fine. You're going to live forever. You can keep on sinning because God's grace and mercy will last forever. No, he said, my mercy endures forever. Mm -hmm. He didn't say grace does. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's in that pen over there. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the same way, the same way the, the, the world system tells you, you cannot discipline your own children. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let, I'm going somewhere with this. You can't discipline your own children, right? But then what happens is when they get out there, they allow the police and the system to discipline your children. It's the same thing that's happening with the church. They don't want God's discipline. They want the devil's discipline. And let me tell you, when the devil disciplines you, it's embarrassing. It destroys you. It destroys the name of God. It destroys people. It destroys the church. Well, what, 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 what the way it should look, it destroys, the, it, it destroys a lot of things because we're receiving, instead of receiving God's rebuke, that person that's stealing money, the person that's fornicating, instead of instead of getting God's rebuke, it winds up coming out on social media. It, it winds up coming out on all these things. So now, so now, so now you got open rebuke. Now you got open stuff happening, and the world is is tearing, supposed tearing the church apart with all this stuff that and all this negative stuff because folks don't want to hear the word of God. Because had they listened to the man or the woman of God who may not have an office. Uh, well, y'all call it titles. I don't understand why. But you don't want to listen to the person who has an office. Glory to God. Be, you, you, you don't want to, unless the person has an office, you don't want to hear nothing from them. Glory to God. But they're telling you, get your life together and stop doing what you're doing. And you go, well, who are you? You are nobody. But if you don't listen, glory to God, if you don't listen to what, who God sent you, you're going to get it openly. And it ain't going to be nice. So this is the problem that we have today. A lot of people, they don't want God's truth. They don't want God's, uh, the, the man of God said, well, who God loves, he chastises. That's what the, but that's word. So how do, so how is it that we think, glory to God, we're going to ignore God's chastisement or God's warning, and then we turn around. Okay. Oh, people are teaching him it's okay. Okay, Jonah, go ahead. People, people, because the motivators and motivational speakers and everybody that wants your tithes and offerings and, and they're teaching people that it's okay. Let me tell you something. Hell is real. <laughs> Hell is real and holiness is right. All day, every day. Now, the kind of holiness that they're trying to deter you from, he said, live up right before God. See, we got this fake stuff going on that you don't wear makeup, you wear the long black dresses. That's not of God. Stop it. Stop believing these fools and learn God for yourself. 
Learn God for yourself. The enemy's got all kinds of devices. But I want to get back to the seer. Yes, please. The seer is the one, glory to God, that's a, uh, that's a watchman on the wall. Mm -hmm. That's who a true seer is. They're the watchman on the wall that will, will cry loud and spare not. A seer is, is like John the Baptist. He's seen it before it happened. Amen. And so he releases to the people, but it's up to you to receive it because we have to release it. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Now, I'm being under. Oh, thank you, Lord. Mm. Ooh, sha -da 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 -ba -sha. Mm -hmm. Being under the influence. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Being under the influence of the Holy Spirit is something totally different. Being under the influence of the Holy Spirit, letting God arise, that your enemies be scattered. Where God's spirit dwells, there is liberty. We mm -hmm. talking stuff like that. Because there's no way you should be able to be in your household and free, mm -hmm. in peace. Mm -hmm. And the, with the peace that surpasses all understanding. Mm -hmm. Being under the influence, that means that God arise. Amen. That everywhere in your house that you can feel the presence of the Lord. Come on. When you're under the influence, when you enter into a room, huh, you're both shot. They may not be able to know it, but you are carrying the spirit of God into that room and they'll be looking at you. He said, I draw them with my love. And all of a sudden people want to talk to you. That's being under the influence. Can we, can we just talk to you? Can, that's being under the influence. It's not going in as a whole. All that old spooky stuff. No, baby. We're not talking about that. We're talking about when the fire, it says in Acts chapter 2, the fire, mm, eh, kobo, sha, the cloven tongues of fire was released in the Pentecost in the upper room. And that's what happened to them on Saturday night. Now, he didn't say that this happens every now and then. This happens every time you allow it to happen. Every time you allow it to happen, he's not saying really get the Holy Spirit one time. Baby, you could be endowed with the Holy Spirit every chance you get. Oh, every chance you get, you should be seeking for a refilling. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God, you should be seeking for one touch. You should be seeking for something greater. Amen. Don't just get saved and you stand in that same spot. You need to be taught because sometimes a man can't teach you how to walk, how to talk, how to live, how to breathe, or what you should do. The Holy Spirit is your teacher. And a lot of people, you know, uh, uh, it was like, don't, I, I, I sang in this song, it's so important to me. Change me, oh God. <laughs> Make me more like you. See, that's so important to me because I want to be more like Jesus. Anybody want to be more like God? Mm -hmm. Anybody want, mm -hmm. hallelujah, to be able to walk like him, to be able to talk like him, mm -hmm. to be able to set the captives free, what you've been sent to do? Because that's your great commission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So many people have forgotten the commission. So many people have forgotten their assignment. Come on, y'all. That's why, it, you know, it, a ball of confusion came forth when the enemy crept into the church and people don't know what their purpose is. Come on. It is no reason for you not to know your purpose. Glory to God. Or what your assignment is. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Or you should be able to hear God. Hallelujah. If you're in a place that you can't hear God, sometimes God will put you in the fire to burn some stuff off. But he's still there. You just can't hear him. But if you need him, you're going to feel him. Okay. Mm. Under the influence is what we're talking about today. Mm. <sighs> it's time for the organism to take life to the people. Oh, yeah, for real, for real. Jesus said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, the word was God. It's time for you to take the organism mm. to the people. Mm. It's time for you to carry God's spirit across the earth. <sighs> I mean, he could choose anybody to do it, but he chose you. Mm. 
under the influence. I know not one person that was on that call on Saturday night could be the same. I know you could not possibly. I wasn't on there, but I felt the effect the next day. Can't not one person tell me that was on that line, and I don't know who was on there. I bet you every testimony out their mouth is they'll never be the same. Melissa, prophetess Melissa said it perfect. Sacrifice will shift you into your promise. I, I, I might have to preach that. People are sacrificing on Saturday midnight on the prayer line. Pray because God gave him a sign. He said, because won't nobody else. He said, a lot of things go on. What was, what was it? He, he gave it to me out of uh, the breach in the wall. And the Bible, the Bible declared in Ezekiel uh, about the breach in the wall. And he said, um, glory to God. And he said he said that uh, that a lot of people, the, the, the breach and nobody's closing the breach. Mm. Amen. Glory to God. So the Lord said he wanted us to pray and close the breach. Amen. Glory to God. And he, he gave us that particular time for his own particular reasons. Amen. Glory to God. But at least somebody, he said, I'm looking for those who will close the breach. Man, listen. Will you be one? Ooh. Amen. Glory to God. I said, okay, I'll, I'll be one. Amen. He gave me the time and that's it. And watch this. I, I posted a, a thing on our page uh, about prayer. Uh, I believe I'm trying to get to it on the page because it, it, it's so profound. And I know a lot of people ain't going to catch everything because I'm spiritual. Amen. I'm going to stay spiritual. I'm not going to deal with folks in a carnal mindset because it won't work for me. I'll be out there fighting like cats and dogs, and I'm not here for that. Amen. It said prayer changes things, starting with the one who prays, and that's what they've been getting for their sacrifices on Saturday midnight. These very people that nobody hardly knows, mm -hmm. small group of people, just like Pentecostal Sunday, I want to encourage y'all, the ones mm -hmm. that was on the line Saturday night. Just like Pentecostal Sunday, y'all were blessed mm -hmm. to have a suddenly. Mm -hmm. To have a change in your life that night. Mm -hmm. And it carried on. And it's still carrying on. Because mm -hmm. they're still talking about it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And this has ricocheted on, upon the land. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like a sound effect that has went across the land. Glory to God. And, and y'all just be encouraged. Those sacrifices that you've been making. Amen. A prayer. Sending supplication up to the throne of grace. Breaking through. Sealing the breaches. Because those. Oh man. God is a unique God. He's a God of not understanding. We will never grab hold to who he is. Or what he does. And God will give us assignments. That won't nobody else take care of. Mm -hmm. This is the thing. Be encouraged. When you're under the influence. You may have to go some places. That others won't go. Every time you go out for an assignment to speak. You may not get a paycheck. Mm -hmm. You may not get a, a, a love offering. As they call it. You know there are some times. Where you have to go. Without looking for something. Mm -hmm. But then there is times. When you go. And you think you're going for somebody else? Hmm. And then you're receiving for yourself. Come on. Amen. Gotta have something set up just for you. Mm -hmm. Praise his holy name. Hmm. Sometimes it get tight, but it's right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it get tight and it get hard, but it's right. Sometimes the afflictions, ah, you know, the both shot. We think we won't come up out of it. But baby, the end result, those afflictions work in patience. Glory to God. Oh, shot, God, basha. The rewards, under the basha. And I'm hearing it. He says, I will establish you. Some of you that are prophets, glory to God. God is saying, I will establish you upon the earth. This is the hour that God is establishing you. Mm -hmm. 
Some of you that thought that you could never be under the influence because people wouldn't understand you, that you would never be nobody. Baby, everybody, is, it's not about fame and fortune. I have found out that the smallest things have become the most effective. The smallest things I have done. Those things that we wouldn't even think about getting a pat on the back for have been effective across the world. Mustard seed. Yeah, that mustard seed, that faith. I have found out when God gave you a word, that one single word, and we talked about this and we will continue to talk about it, come. Because he has given something, that one word to you. And it, 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 it will change lives. Mm -hmm. But you have to be under the influence to do it. Don't do it out your flesh. Don't do it out your hurt. And if you plan on doing something and you still got hurt in you, come on, get some deliverance today in Jesus' name. Because God is giving you a way to help others. Uh, sha, da, ba, sha. And he don't want you to go out there with hurt. Because when I, the dream, the pastor, when I cut him, when I stuck it in his head and cut him the first time, all these snakes came out, y'all. That means what he was carrying was affecting others. What he was doing was affecting others. So if you are hurt trying to do a good thing, a righteous thing, get your deliverance from your hurt. Get healed. I'm not saying that you can't help nobody hurt, because you can. You can. But I'm saying for you to be set free, for you to walk in peace, ah, for you to receive my charitable, and you may not, let me, can I say this? You may not get your deliverance until as you're walking in it. To help somebody else. Mm -hmm. So deliverance. It can come in all shapes, sizes, all forms, and all ways. But make sure you seek God for it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus Christ is the deliverer. And we teach self-deliverance. Ask God. Ask Jesus to deliver you and set you free from the things that's been keeping you bound. Amen. You can't go through life. I don't care if it was some rape, rejection. I uh, incest, I don't care what it was from, molestation, get it. Ask Jesus to set you free and get up over the toilet because, see, I believe in you throwing that thing up. <sighs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on. You good? Under the influence. I hear you, darling. God is doing his thing. His thing in this season. Are you dressed for the journey? My God. Now, that's awesome. That's an awesome word, darling. Amen. Are you dressed for the journey? For real. And what is that? I'd rather be clothed in the fire of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I'd rather be clothed. When they see me, they see fire. <laughs> Woo! Oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. I felt a dance on that. <laughs> I felt a dance on Oh, I felt a praise break on. Oh! <laughs> Woo! Hey! Hey, hey! Shut up! Hey! Yeah! I felt a praise. Hey! Shut it up! Oh, shit! Hey, man! Shut it up! Woo! God! I felt a praise break on that. Hunt your boss. Shut it up! Shut Woo, yes, sir. Clothe me in fire of tongues. Yes, baby. Hallelujah. They always mess with me anyway. Say my second language is easily e is English. <laughs> it's, easy. it's English. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Glory to God. Under the influence. We need this. We need this. We need to be under the influence of the Holy Ghost. We need this, y'all. We can't keep on going around here not having the Holy Spirit. When you ain't got no Holy Spirit, you ain't got no power. They people, they people, they look like they got power. They look like it. They can't cast out their demon. They're not doing nothing. They got the look, but no power. 
It's time out for that. You need the Holy Spirit. If you casting out anything, you casting out. Uh oh. What did they say? Bazabug. Cast out Bazabug. Listen, you need the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You need to be under the influence, baby. Hallelujah. So, 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 even being under the influence, glory to God. I, you know, I hear the Lord saying, to right now, it's your time. Those of you that are, shut up, Bosa, that don't have the Holy Spirit, it's right now, time. It's your time to receive the gift from the Father. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just tell them, Lord, <laughs> I want them. Give me the gift. Amen. I'm telling you, he's coming. He's coming. He meeting you right where you at. Right where you're at. Hallelujah, Jesus. You ain't got to go nowhere. I, I, I fell on the floor with the Holy Ghost in my bedroom, right where Jesus saved me. He gave me the Holy Spirit right in my bedroom. Me and him. That's it. You know, who? Shit. Woo. Yeah. So right now, hallelujah, this is your time. Hmm. Receive them. Receive them. Hmm. I know somebody got a knot in their throat right now. You need to go ahead and swallow and let him come on up. Amen. You're fighting against the Holy Spirit. He's saying, I'm right here, right now. Just relax. Amen. And just go on and open up your mouth and speak. Let the Holy Spirit speak because he's right there. Amen. You just received the Holy Ghost. Amen. It's nothing scary about him just because it's, we call him the Holy Ghost, but he that's him. Receive him on today. And for some of you, you needed a refresher. Now remember this. You had one. Amen. Amen, Heather. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's time. Yeah, it, it's your time. Tricia, it's your time. Get get them. Hallelujah. Get get the Holy Spirit today. It's your time. Allow him. Don't get him. Allow him to reside and allow him to speak. It says when you receive the Holy Spirit, you will know about the utterance of tongue. You will hear a language come out of your mouth that you've never heard before. Hmm. And for those of you that needed a refilling, and how can I say that that happens? When Jesus, when he first sent out the, the apostles, he touched them and he blew on them and they received the Holy Spirit for the first time. And then scripture says the second time they received them is when they were up in the in the in the uh on Pentecostal Sunday. They received a refilling along with the fire. That's word, y'all. Trust me. We're not gonna give y'all nothing that ain't in the word. So yes, you could be refilled. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's all I'm always looking for. A refill, a refreshing. Ha yarabasha. Don't y'all run from this. This is time because you need the power in this hour. You need the power of the Holy Spirit because some of y'all are being sent out and you need to know how to go out. Amen. You need to be taught how to go out and the Holy Spirit will teach you. And you got to be able to listen to him and be obedient. Don't just be going haywire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on and worship him because he's there. He's there. He, he, he is here. Let me put it like this. I don't know why he says he's there with you, but he's here. It's time to receive him. It's time to be refreshed. It's time to receive the filling of most of you, but it's time to receive a refilling. Some of us. Oh God. Thank you, 
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Why do you need a refilling? Because a shift happened across the land. So sometimes we need a refilling. Some of us have been busy, busy, busy bees. And we haven't gave the presence of God no attention. So we need a refilling. We need to be recaptured. We need to be balanced again. We need to be stable. We need to, we need him. Because a lot of times the care of the world of the day will sit us out there. We become, we become the world. Remember my dream. Now listen, if, if, if you've received the Holy Spirit today, Please send us a message in our inbox. You can post it on the page if you're not embarrassed. If you can do it publicly or privately. Amen. Hallelujah. It don't matter. Amen, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ooh, y'all. God, thank you. I hear the Lord saying someone needs healing in their stomach. You've been having upper respiratory, but your stomach. Excuse me. Well, you just got delivered on that one from a stomach issue in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But someone's having respiratory issues. Let me speak to your lungs. And I command the fluid right now to dry up in the name of Jesus. You have no power over their respiratory system. You have no power over their lungs. I command the lungs to exhale and inhale freely with no asthma. No asthma, no fluid, no, 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 no. Oh, wow. Just trying to give you, uh, not the flu, but uh, pneumonia. I bind up the spirit of pneumonia right now in the name of Jesus. You cannot settle in their lungs. Loose now. She'll go to Bosundo and go back to the pits of hell from where you come from. And I loose. Breathing up. Expansion, lung expansion. To do it freely. Would I have to be on a respiratory? Somebody in the hospital with this. Somebody just went in. Holly, get a little boat. Somebody, you know. But you don't have to be glory to God and on no respiratory. But your lungs are being cleared up right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. She's been healed. Amen, Prophetess Heather. She's been healed. I just seen... Somebody in the hospital, she's been healed. That's for her. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's for her. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Come on and give God a hand clap of praise for that healing. Come on and shout glory. Hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands for the healing, the miraculous power of the Holy Spirit. That's what I'm saying. That's why you need him. That's why you need to be under the influence so that you call those things that be not as though they were. Glory to God. So we're thanking God. Amen for her daughter's healing right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heather. She's right there. Oh, amen. Amen. Just tell her to go on and take some deep breaths. Tell her to smell the roses, the flowers, and blow out the candle. Cause we are, God said, I'm, 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 I'm getting rid of all that. Tell her to smell the flowers and blow out the candles. Cause he's, he's, he's giving a fresh wind, a fresh wind, a fresh wind. As a matter of, ooh. as a matter of fact, he said, I'm just going to replace those lungs. Cause that's not the first time she's had that. She, that's not the first time she's had that. God said, I'm just going to get Sorry, baby. Yeah. Amen. 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 
Amen. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Come on and somebody tell God. Ooh, wow. Hey, you shed that baby. Cook, cook, cook. Handa da da ba, shed that day, but hot da da ba, ka. Terry, God just told me to tell you, Prophetess Terry Copeland, God just told me to tell you that you have healing in your mouth and he needs you to start declaring that thing for others. Glory to God. He said he healed you in every area of your life on Saturday night during your prayer. He said, now use that for the organism. He said, open up your mouth. Because people are calling you, telling, girl, I did sick, girl, I did. Now you start declaring and decreeing. Open up your mouth, Terry. Prophetess Terry Copeland. God said you will have healing. He said you manifest suddenly. Woo! Shekadadaba. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, we thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. There are some people on here, just two. <laughs> he says a few. And I, I see the number two. He said, there's some two people on here that has been asking God to use me. Lord, you use me for your glory. And this has been a deep thought. Hallelujah. But you needed the Holy Spirit. You needed the Holy Spirit, Tracer. You needed the Holy Spirit. This is for you. That one touch just for you. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. 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 God is answering prayers. Prayer requests that have went up. God said, huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've answered them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. 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 You know, this is what's so amazing. Because I'm hearing several things with several people. And I'm sure y'all won't mind. Hallelujah. Because the enemy can't do nothing with this. God has already spoken. Amen. Amen. And it, is, it has entered the earth realm. So, so um, believe this, Cindy. Your provisions shall be provided. Hallelujah. As needed, says the Lord. He said that there will be the provisions will be provided. Don't even start worrying about them ahead of time. He said just X the worry out of your thoughts because the provisions will be provided. Ah, yeah, you faithful, you faithful servant, says God. You are faithful. Oh, sha da 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 ba. Woo! Hey! God said, I'm winding some things up. He's bringing it into completion for you, Cindy. He's winding some things up and he's making it complete for you. I'm winding it up for you, Cindy. He says, I'm bringing it to completion. Ooh, yeah. Okay, somebody been having this right here in this area. This right here. This is the sinus area. Mm -hmm. This is the sinus area. Yeah, this here right here. Been like a headache. Uh. I guess they would call it a, 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 
a constant headache. What do they call it? Migraine. We bind up the spirit of migraine right now in the name of Jesus. We bind up that stress spirit. We bind up uh, 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 the drainage that's in your sinuses right now. We command loose. Bullshit. In the name of Jesus, be healed in Myra. Yeah, one is you. One, one is you for you. Glory to God. One is you. Amen. Amen, Sharona. One is you. Glory to God. Be healed of the migraines that you've been having. Amen. Somebody has sinus. Sinus been having a sinus headache because it goes across here and then down here. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Rest in him and let him do it. Sometimes we can think ourselves out of it. Out of a healing. Sometimes we can think ourselves out of it. Just receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. 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 <laughs> oh boy, that's funny. That's funny. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I know, you know, if you've been called to heal, you got to speak it. You know, sometimes he had you to call the people. Uh, he sent me to hospitals. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to do what God tell you to do. That's when you're under the influence. Amen. It's been too many people walking in disobedience. Amen. We got to walk in obedience. Glory to God. Amen. And I don't care what people think about me or say. They're going to talk about you regardless. Whether you do right or you do wrong. Somebody's always going to have something to say. Amen. So what you do, you take what they say and you use it as a stepping stool. They're going up high in God. Forget what they're talking about. We ain't got time for that. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm looking at what you guys are saying. Hallelujah. For her sinuses. Amen, Sandra. And, and you know what? God sent you, Sandra. He, he sent your name. Yeah, so it's for your house, the sinuses. Glory to God. Amen. It's for your house. I'm sorry I just didn't call your name. He said, Sandra, because it was one more name. It was you. Your house. Receive it for the sinuses. Glory to God. And she's, he, God, as a matter of fact, he sent cavity passages. It's really deep in her. It's not just, you know, some people get sinus issues right in here, but these are backed up in her cavities. I don't even know what that is, but it's in your cavity patches, passages. It's back here, like behind her eyes. It goes just that far back. I see it. So we speak healing, total healing. And now she's going to have to cough it up. She's going to have to cough it up and spit it out. So don't be saying, why are you coughing? Why? No, let her cough it out and spit it up. Amen in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Yeah, because it's ready to come up out of her in Jesus' name. So she's going to be coughing. She's got to sneeze because this stuff has been hiding. You know, it's, it's back here. It's going like this way, this way. But it's so far back because it's been sitting. Amen sitting. So God said, I want, I'm going to clean out her cavity passages. I'm cleaning out her sinus passages. He's going to clean it all out. So she's going to be spitting for a while. Amen. What do they call it? That old long drawn harking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry. And it may not sound good. So, but just have her to spit it out. Tell her don't, don't swallow it. Y'all, when y'all, y'all feeling something coming up while we're speaking, just spit it out. Don't swallow it because you're actually going through deliverance. Amen. Spit it out. I'll get you some napkins. I don't care. Whenever you come on lunch in the word or whenever I'm speaking, God may take you through some deliverance. Have you some tissues to spit it in. Have you a garbage can. That's what we do. Amen. In Jesus name. You got anything? Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Hey, God, I love you. Lord, I praise 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 you. Lord, I pra
Oh God. Ooh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God, oh God, oh God, eh. Hey. Oh God, oh God, eh. Hey. Oh God. Whew. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hayadarabasha. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I thank you. You know, I'm a worshiper. Amen. I love praise. But I'm a worshiper and, um, you know, I'll sing anywhere. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, yes, oh. Hallelujah, yes, God. Mm. We worship you. Ooh, oh, Father. Mm. We thank you. Ooh. Oh, God. Hallelujah. 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 Michael Mallory, um, the Lord is saying, I separated you with purpose. He said, I separated you with purpose. And then he and then he said, then he said, I've separated you with purpose, but then he said, Receive everything that I'm getting ready to give you. In other words, I'm not finished with you yet. There's more on the way. So whatever it is that you need to do to get the more, however you need to make yourself available to God to get the more, go ahead and do it so that God can re uh, God can release the rest, excuse me, to you, uh, whether it's concerning your ministry, concerning concerning the people in, the, in your ministry, concerning your personal things, whatever you need to do, go ahead and go, go into God so that he can give you the rest. He said, I separated you with purpose. He said, I don't want you to be like the rest around you. I want you to be like him, like me. So if I'm calling you to be like me, I need you to come in a little bit more. He said, I have more for you. That may God bless you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Y'all stay right there in his presence. Hallelujah. Mm. Dear God. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Someone is still sitting in the midst of darkness. God said, I'm pushing you out. I'm pushing you out. I'm pushing you out of the midst of that darkness. He said, you've been surrounded by darkness for too long. I'm pushing you out into the marvelous life. Hallelujah. Yeah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. And what does that entail? Separation. Sometimes he had to separate you from those that are in darkness. I see one somebody. 
you're surrounded by a whole lot of people that ain't worshiping God, are not praising God, they don't seek God, and you are that one piece of light, but you have been sitting around this darkness for so long, God said, I'm pushing you out. I'm pushing you out. He's pushing you out from among them. Yeah. He's pushing you out. He's pushing you out. He's pushing you out. He's pushing you out. Yes, God. He's pushing you out. Because you've been there too long. And he's been calling you. Mm, I literally see. I literally seen just seen him just pick you up out of it. Because he had been pushing you for so long. But he literally put his hand down and plucked you, picked you, plucked you up out of the midst of that darkness. So everything about you about to change. Everything about you, your taste, your flavor, your who you go around. Everything about you has just going to change. You're not going to want to go around them any longer. Everything is going to change. God said, what I set before you mm, 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 is a choice between heaven and hell. Under the boat. But I sent you as the light in the midst of darkness. But what are you doing? You're consuming darkness. And God said, now nah, I got to push you. I've been pushing you. I've been pushing you. I've been pushing you. But now I got to pluck you out. In the midst of that darkness, oh, Jesus, yes, God, yes, God, thank you, Jesus, yeah, amen, amen, hallelujah, amen, amen. What? <laughs> you trying to run? <laughs> Are you trying to run? <laughs> oh boy. Mm. <laughs> he can't even run. Y'all, he's limping away. <laughs> I swear to God, I wasn't going to touch you. <laughs> obedient y'all listen we love you God bless y'all pray for us as we pray for you oh my god they're writing oh my god amen amen ah uh, Hallelujah. That's it, Lenora. Amen. Amen. That's right, Heather. Thank you. Amen. Amen, Cindy. God bless y'all. Apostle has ran. Amen. We love you guys, and we enjoy doing what we do. Listen, uh, he has given me to do that raw deal conversation. You can stay there. I'm getting ready to cut it off. Raw deal conversation on Saturdays. Amen. Catch it. I'm not going to invite nobody. I'm just going to come on. And be ready because I'm going to be plugging some of y'all in. And we're going to, whatever conversation God give us to talk about, that's what we're discussing. We love you. Have a great day. The rest of your day in Jesus' name. God bless you. Bye. <laughs>